Well, it's supposed to be near 70 degrees today and tomorrow. So we're on the bikes. We're going to make a quick run up to Harrison for overnight. Blow out some cobwebs. And the bikes blow the dust off. Blow some sanity into our brains. Get a little wind therapy. Yeehaw. When we went to Harrison, we went out 88 coming out of Mina. There's not too many ways to come out of Mina. Uh, we usually like to go to Highway 8 and feel it's prettier, but there's a lot of washboard in this road surface here. And it can be kind of dangerous if you don't watch out. It could throw you in the ditch. So the way we went took about almost four hours, 190 miles. We went out 88 coming out of Mina and cut over through, uh, to Highway 27 just south of Story. And we came all the way up 27 and followed it all the way up through Danville. Now, there's a couple of places on 27 that are a lot of fun. As you can see right in here, south of Rover, you got a nice bunch of turns. But this section right in here, it's a lot of fun. There's a brand new asphalt. I don't know how old it is. Maybe a year old, maybe two. No potholes, nice and smooth, beautiful piece of asphalt. And you go a lot of curves through the here. You can really have fun with the, uh, and you, you lean in, lean in with confidence because the road surface is nice and smooth. This last turn here is coming into Danville from the south is steep and 15 mile an hour curve back to the left. It's a nice little, uh, character builder as you're coming into town right there at the end. We finished up 27 up through Dardanelle. And through Russellville, right here in Russellville, you got the university right here. They're going to be a little busy. Uh, probably a dozen lights getting through there, but just, you know, bide your time, get through. It's not too bad. But then you can get up through 7, one of my favorite pieces of road. And as you can see, 7 has just got all sorts of curves in it. Um, it gets really fun here just past ja south of Jasper and going just north of Jasper. You can see how curvy the road gets. Highway 7 will take you all the way into Harrison, so you don't worry about missing it. But you can see how curvy the road gets here. You get up around Marlboro Falls, which is an old theme park called Dog Patch. I think it closed in 1993. It was built off the Little Abner uh, comic strip. It was a theme park. I don't know how long it was in business, but it's been, of course, closed since 93. You can still see the buildings. If you look down as you're heading north to the to the east, you can look off to the right and see them. Just be careful because it's real curvy in here. You don't want to drive off the roads. Also, one thing I forgot to point out is you're coming up uh, here to up seven. When you get up down here lower, this 123 here, you can break off a of seven. Right in here is what they call the uh, Jasper Dragon, you know, similar to the uh, Tale of the Dragon. This section right here, I think, is a part that they did is really fun. I have I did a video on that. This is pretty tight, but there's a lot of nice curves in there, uh, and that's an, another way you could get on up to Harrison if you wish to, coming up here and cutting back over on 74, or going all the way out here to 65 and come in. But it's it's a nice place to ride too. It's a lot of fun. Uh, we got into Harrison. Uh, I didn't do a lot of video, or almost no video, coming out because most of these roads coming out of Mina and stuff, and part of this too, uh, we've seen in my other videos. So it, it didn't, um, I, I've tried to do what little bit of video I did coming back, just some snippets of it, will be from Harrison on the way back on the second day. So when we came out of Harrison, we came down here and caught 43 and headed towards Ponca. 43 around in here runs along top of a ridge. You can get a lot of views down into the, Valley from up here. It's a very nice drive. And then we drop down into Ponca. Now, Ponca right here is very famous for its elk. I think it was in the 1980s, they, uh, Arkansas released a bunch of elk in this area to make a breeding population and it's, and it stayed. They're still there. A lot of them will hang, you'll, a lot of you'll see from anywhere from about here, once you get through the town of Ponca, which is not much, and all the way down here to 20, to, uh, excuse me, Ponca's right here, all the way down Ponca and all the way down 43 to where it is, X21. All the elk like to hang out along this river over here and then these fields all along here. 
and it's in the uh, October a lot of times in mornings and evenings. Sometimes in the middle of the day, you'll see a bunch of people lined up with their cars all along here just to see the elk that are off in this direction. Just be careful going through because they'll step out in front of you. They'll pull out in front of you. They aren't looking for you. So especially if you're on a bike, just be aware of that. We came down through there and right about here, there was a bald eagle uh, eating something. And then when he when I drove by, he got... He took flight, and I almost twisted myself on the bike trying to point it out to Melissa. But he flew behind me and you know, right over the top of Melissa. She got a good view of it, but I have a little bit of video of that happening, and I'll show you that on, as well. We came then this way south on 21 after this little intersection and headed down to 16. And then we caught 16 and headed east. We were just going to make our way back to 7 and come back 7, just basically the way we came. So right about here in Deer, we pulled at a scenic overlook, unfortunately pointing the wrong way and you couldn't see much. But we wanted to stop for a little a few minutes and got some unique visitors here, which we'll show you as well. I've never, never had those kind of visitors show up when we've been at a rest stop or a, a overlook before. And you'll see that on the video. And then we just got back on seven and came back down Mina that way. So you'll see a little bit of that. Uh, there's a lot of um, places to ride, a lot of nice roads to ride up near Harrison. Matter of fact, if you look up Harrison Motorcycle Rides on the internet, you'll see a whole bunch of routes that have already been established. I believe you can download them uh, up around the Harrison area. We go there. We, we looks like we can get on the road. Well, we just left the townhouse cafe. Had a great breakfast. Uh, I would recommend going there. It's off the square there in Harrison. No, they aren't paying me to say this. I just had a great breakfast there. Uh, we also met some YouTubers there, uh, a couple, and their channel is called the Ornery One. They do motorcycle uh, blogs. Uh, you ought to go check it out there on YouTube again. That's the Arnery one. Uh, we are taken out now, going out 43, heading towards the Ponca, and we'll get a view of Ponca on the way back. Ponca's cold. We've been down that one hill and got in the shade, and it's been cold ever since. See if we see any elk. All these fields to the left over here are the ones I talked about earlier on the map that butt up against the river. So once you start hitting this open side of the, uh, the trees are fade away and you're over here in the field, all along there look for elk. Uh, in the, like I said, in the summer, sometimes summer, but fall especially, there'll be cars all lined up along this left side of the road over here. So be careful. People won't watch and they'll get out in front of you but all down in those fields sometimes you'll see cattle and you'll see the elk standing right in the middle of them they seem to congregate more out in those woods and then when they come out to graze in the fields they'll be coming from the left over
over by the river and you should be able to see them all down through here so keep an eye out when you're going through this part right after you've gone through the town of Palm Cunt heading towards south towards 21 uh, all those fields over there just keep an eye out for the elk Eagle on the right. wasn't a very good view of the eagle from my perspective, but when we get up here, we'll find out that that thing flew right over the top of Melissa. That's a bald eagle! Yeah, that's why I was pointing there. That's, that's why I was going to ask if you saw it. What? We can go either way. This one, I think, will take us back close to seven. Okay. That was beautiful. Yeah, I was, do you see me pointing, trying to... <laughs> It came up out of that field. Yeah, we're going that. This will take us to 16 and. This will take us to 16, and I think if we take 16 east, we'll hook into 7. Yeah, that'd but, be fine. All right. Okay, dope. That was it, oh it, my god, he flew right over me. I figured it might. This was a first for us at any rest stop, scenic, look, scenic overlook, etc. we've ever stopped at to have a dog and a turkey show up. A very domesticated turkey. You can see Melissa's petting it and it's just hanging around. That's a first for us. <laughs> Just gonna squat down right there. Well, we're just gonna head home and enjoy the sunshine and the day and being out on the bikes in the wind and riding the mountains. Hope you enjoyed it too. See you next time. Thank you for watching.